There we go. Good to go now. up over here to, to get our equipment going on the, put it right here. I know, right? Yeah, I'm not moving. There we go, guys. There we go. Park service ain't that scary. He tried to drive by, smile real big. It looked like he was from Iraq, but he was still. So they're over there at that camp. What can we see? Is it the long lens? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, is there a card in there? Oh, the battery might be dead. Let me get you the battery. It's alright. Get a charge on us. Yeah, it looks like there's a truck over there. Uh huh. I think I cut off. Did we? I think so, it yeah. looks live. Says this video is ended five minutes. Maybe that was a long time. Yeah, it looks live. Yeah. Video is live. It says 119 on it. What's going on? So this is the seventh generation camp that we flew over earlier with the drone. From what I'm seeing here, guys, is that there was people um, looting over there. I don't want to say looting. Maybe they were sent over there to get something, but uh, they went. They went over there, and that's what's going on here. Is there? Oh, damn it! Battery. Yep. yep. Battery. Battery change. That should be full. Cool. Not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it is. I swear I'm prepared. <laughs> You know what we could do is send the drone over and hover above them. Yeah. What did they do, police, with all the leftover building supplies at Ocheti? They were construction companies, contractors were pulling it out. Everyone knows what's going on. We're at 7th generation camp right now, Cindy. We're looking at a bunch of police cars. Like, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot. Yeah, that's BIA. Yeah. BIA. Make sure you wear. This is the bulletproof dome. Drone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right, David. They only give BIA stun uh, stun guns. 
<laughs> oh, he says, speak up. Can't really hear because the phone's hey, on the outside. Hey, guys. So what we have going on here is uh, seventh generation camp is down the way. We got park service over there. Look like they're from Iraq. And um, they looks like they're the vehicle is there in the front that they're, they stopped as the vehicle. But I don't see anyone in the vehicle. And they may be looking for him. So the vehicle right now is from the drone footage you guys seen earlier, I got kind of close to the vehicle and they waved at me. But there was already a vehicle, there was already a, an officer going on that road and you seen me circle around him. So we already know he was there. He was going there anyways. Yeah, that's what we're seeing over here. Let me get a little closer for you guys. They're over there. This was a camp that was raided yesterday. A lot of people were on their route out to leave this camp. And let me get your reactions here, guys. I can see you're planting evidence. Yes. No, I don't know yeah. if anyone's planting evidence. There's nothing there to plant. Everyone was, uh, you know, drug and alcohol free. This was a prayer camp. There was no weapons. Strictly a prayer, and not a camp. I gotta, I gotta correct myself. It was a gathering. So it looks like some people were over there at the camp or at the gathering place and this was a prayer circle where there was one arrest yesterday from the owner and he was protecting the sacred fire. And we do have to say the BIA did jump someone's car for them. They they yeah. could have it they could have impounded it and they didn't. Yeah, the BIA did jump someone's car. They're rezzed out too. And why would they raid the camp? Why were they raid they're closing all the camps? Yep, this is BIA. So that's what you're looking at. This is seventh generation camp. This is the camp that was raided yesterday and everyone in the camp was uh, arrested. I'm sorry, I, there, everyone in the camp was was not arrested. They were, uh, one was arrested. Uh, everyone else was free to go, even the one that their battery uh, had to get jumped by the BIA. So uh, then they went over to Sacred Stones, and pretty much everyone left at Sacred Stones. They were pretty much prepared. The ones that were left here at this camp were trying to take down a lot of the structures. They had been working hard. Again, there was not enough time, and they did not think they were going to get uh, raided at that time. But they did what they could to try to make sure they got everything um, out of there. I know it does. I, I I agree, Lori. Well, you know we're we're doing Waco like wow. You you can kind of feel like that, but you know this is indigenous indigenous people and and indigenous people have been here since uh, time immemorial, and it just feels like we're strangers in our own land now. That's that's how we're that's what we're seeing here. But you know we're documenting this. We came over with the drone. We're losing light here. Got about another hour of light and we got park service over there. Funny guys laughing around, looking like they were from Iraq, dressed up. But you know, I got that guess, we're at war. What you're witnessing is the BIA officers, one, two, three, four. I'm looking, I've also got the long lens. We can look, we're gonna load these pictures up later on. It looks like there's a homeless guy there, but I think he might be. I They're think... asking about the sacred fire, but I don't think I don't know anything about it. Do you yeah, know? I don't believe there's a sacred fire, guys. That's up right now. No, they okay. they they put it out. They put that sacred fire out. Mm -mm. Nope, no sacred fire.
And I'm looking right now. Here's, here's the weird part. There looks like there's water protectors over there. Really? Yeah. That's the weird part. There looks like there's water protectors there. And and uh, they're walking around freely with the BIA. So what that tells me is that they're undercover people pretending to be water protectors. But you know what? The camps have been so small lately that we know everybody. And when we're at the hotel, we all, we, we really did know who was who was there. And who wasn't there? Who tried to? Who's? Who didn't? Who kind of like? There was a couple of girls that were hanging around too, and and I've never seen them before. And they weren't dirty. They weren't dirty. I wouldn't say dirty, but they're girls. They at the at the hotel. No, that's not Ladonna's house. Ask me if that's Ladonna's. No, it's house. not Ladonna's house. So what we're looking at here, guys, is this was a seventh generation camp. This was a prayer camp. It um, was was originally called Seventh Generation Gathering, and it was a prayer gathering that was raided yesterday. And they came through. Um, they didn't come through hardcore and and all out like that, but they did come through uh, and pushed everyone out and and let everyone go. The one guy didn't want to leave a sacred fire. He's the owner, and he was the one that was arrested. No, Jennifer, Madonna hasn't been let back on the land, right? I don't believe so. I don't think, so. I don't think they let anybody back on the land. Yep, I don't believe so. More people joining, asking again what's going on. People, guys, there. Uh, we got some people here that were over at this uh, seventh generation camp. And they, from the drone footage that we were showing earlier, we did see people there. And it looks like a, these guys brought over every, almost every BIA within the last. This is what we're witnessing here with these guys. They're, they're, this is the seventh generation camp. Again, this is and these guys don't look like and the lights look a little crazy. It's kind of a trip to see this, but This is what we're seeing here is Over at Standing Rock. This is the seventh generation camp. There were some people there and it looks like they were I'm not sure if they're being arrested or whatnot They were loading things up is what we've seen And I'm gonna continue to we'll upload these photos as soon as we get them Looks like the officers are getting ready to leave. Are some BIAs non-native? Yes, you can be non-native to be a Bureau of Indian Affairs. You just have to get the, the training. You can be Asian, you can be black, you can be white, you can be even alien to be on the BIA, and I think some of them are. <laughs> uh, you can be... Um... Oh, oh they just yay! Oh, 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 just honking at us. That way, in a good way. Oh ho! I don't know. It's somebody, somebody trying to go down that route, but I think they're done there. I think we're gonna, we're gonna, fly. we're gonna fly. We're gonna fly, guys. We're gonna fly, fly, Robin, fly to the sky. Right now, we're gonna fly. We're gonna see what's going on. It looks like a minivan is trying to go through. They're not gonna make it though. It's, it's. Uh, it's a soft barricade. Yeah, is what they Marco, call it. we going. We're going up. Yep, we're going up, guys. Let's get that. All right, there should be a card in there. We can actually leave that one there and fly. Leave what one? Hey, that vehicle was allowed to cross. No, we haven't seen any tearing down at Sacred Stone yet. No. Nope. No one's touching anything. They're just going through stuff. Yeah, I didn't see anything uh, being torn down at Sacred Stone. We flew over there all day today. Did not see anything. I just seen uh, FBI all through there. Is there a card? No, no, you got it.
I go out there with it. Warming up. Yep. We're going to do two live feeds. We're going to do one uh, that's a mobile and then we're going to do one that's an aerial. This will be a live feed, guys. Right now, what you're seeing here <laughs> is you're going to be seeing the drone here. This is the drone right here. You see that? It's the drone. <laughs> Many of you guys may want to see how I fly. Well, let me show you for a, a quick second here. Are you live? Yeah, we're live. Can you see me? Can you see it? Um, can you guys see that? Let me know if you can see that, guys. We'll get one viewer on here, get ready to fly, show you guys how we fly. Yeah, yeah, I see it. All right, guys, you can see it? <laughs> yeah. All right, this is how we, this is how digital smoke signals likes to take off here. extra fast. Wow. It's beautiful the way it looks. That's the sunset going down, guys. I'll point it back over there. Guys, want to give us an update? What happened? Uh, we were sent in there by Tribal EPA to check on the composting toilets. Okay. So they nabbed us for that. But they okay. Let us go. Yeah. Oh, they nabbed you? Yeah, they didn't nab okay, us, wait. but it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, back. whoa! You have to zoom. In. There he is. Just in. Anyway, introduce yourself. Come on. Uh, hi, Tristan Bennett. That's my name. <laughs> and what happened today? Uh, we were sent in to uh, the former Black Hoop 7th Generation Rising Camp to check on composting toilets uh, that we installed there, make sure they were still there, at which point uh, BIA sent a drone overhead, I believe it was them, and then they showed up shortly afterwards. That was actually... No, that was us. That was you guys. And BIA was already en route. We followed him. He was already coming. Okay, yeah. Well, we heard him talking about you on the radio. Oh, um, me? Yeah. <laughs> what were they saying? They call me Big Daddy? No, no. They, <laughs> they said, black SUV, don't let a man in digital smoke signals. Oh, yeah. They don't like me. <laughs> nah. But uh, anyway, so there's, there's two more cars over there uh, detained. I don't know if they're making any arrests. We were there on actual business. So uh, they let us go once we had our, our contact in the tribe uh, called them and sorted out. Yeah. So I, uh, you know hoping for these other folks to get out of there soon. There's no reason for them to not let us go through. You know, we're, we're just trying to keep people updated. We're nonviolent, doing nonviolent direct drone action. And 
there's no media. You know, we have to make sure that people are safe. That's why we send it in to make sure everybody's safe. Because if there's no media, they do what they want. Yeah. You know? It's true. But they were down there, definitely uh, tore down a few tents, destroyed the kitchen tent, destroyed, uh, started to destroy one of the supply tents, knocking over shelves of food. Did Just kind of... Did they have to? No, they didn't. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what we're seeing with these guys is they're not um, being honorable. There's no reason. That's, that was a, a lifehood there. A lot of work went into that. That's Thanks, guys. They're our friends. They're awesome. We have some really amazing people here at Standing Rock. All right. Thanks, guys. Is, is there, is there anything else anybody needs to know, you know, that don't know what's going on here? You know, I <laughs> factually, I, you know, aside from what a strange place the casino is with <laughs> water protectors and police off-duty and drinking beer in the same room. I don't know. But at least the dogs are having fun. Oh, there's dogs over there? Yeah. Like red dogs? Or? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just happy to see somebody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you for all your work. Yeah, you Thanks. Too. Good to see you. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Well, don't let digital smoke signals over there. That's what he said. Is that what they call That's what he said. Thing? Yeah, that's what he called. We hear him on the radio. Wow. So right now, what we're going to go do is this was going to be a really quick one because we can't lose anything. We were talking about what we were doing before earlier. Remember? Well, we're going to go witness over here. Yeah. I tried to set you up. Probably. Here. Probably should put it back over here. On you think? The, yeah. Because I can get like. Can you still get, get it over there? I mean, I see. I guess not. I guess you're right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just trying. Yeah, probably just have to walk it around while right. I'm doing this. Following everything here. This is where I drop all the footage. Every time Myron flies, I need yeah. all your guys' stuff. You gotta be careful of your hard drive. Yep, your watching, hard it, watching it, watching it, watching it, watching it, watching it, watching it. Okay. It's a beautiful day. No, no wind at all. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at this. I hit a geofest. Again? Yeah, look at this. This Hang is what's on. called a geofest. Do you want me to show it? Yeah. So we're trying to fly a certain area, and what it does is it prevents it. The aircraft got disconnected. It's a geofence. See that? Oh, that green. That's a geofence. So whatever it is, it's preventing us from going a certain, a certain area. For whatever reason, they're protecting that area. That's a geofence. Look at that. That's the pads are protected from going near that oil pads. So I knew there was a geofence in there. I just wasn't sure. Now it's validated. All right, jump in. Going back? Yeah, Woo. bring it, bring it with that. Oh, so cold. <laughs> okay. okay, grabbing the hard drives. Okay guys, we're gonna go up here for just a second here. We're gonna push the envelope here with our, with what we're seeing here. Oh, I got cut off. You did? Well, this one's yeah. still going. We're still live here. Okay. Oops. <laughs> a little too strong. Yeah, there's this interesting. When you're looking at a geofence like that, the transmission doesn't let you go any closer. Okay. I'm not actually sure if that's good. I guess I could look at it online. Yeah, that's what we're seeing here. It's a nice geofence. Wow. So what I was showing you guys was they're working over there. They're working still. And they're um, they're not complete from what I've seen. They're not complete. And it's not letting me go any closer, but yeah, that's a that's a trip. I've, n I've never had that issue before. So we'll try to come across here. Did you guys know? Wow. That's 
the trip. I've never had that problem before. All right, that's a terrible angle. I'm sorry, guys. I'm working on it. <laughs> See me, everyone wants to see you. <laughs> We're getting there. The transmission is being blocked, but that's okay. We're gonna continue to go where we need to go. Whoa! Okay, got it. Yeah. Thank you. Good catch. Can we get a good line of <laughs> That was on. Was it on? Yeah. Yeah, right in front of the <laughs> camera. Yeah. This is really good reality TV. <laughs> it is, right? We're in a geofence. We cannot go by the pad. That's the first time I've ever come across a geofence in this area. Again, guys, what a geofence is, is it protects, uh, it has a certain area, and only like Homeland Security has that type of. Uh, uh, blockage. No other, no other agency should have that type of blockage that I know of. Which I find that very interesting. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, it should not have that type of blockage. Where's my phone? This is a crazy day. Everyone's asking what we're looking for. We're looking right now at the east drill pad. That's what we're looking at right now, east drill pad. It has what's called a geofence around it, which it doesn't let me go any farther than what I'm looking at right now. What you see way a little higher is that <clears throat> they are working, they're working hard. I think they're behind schedule, I really do. They haven't, look at the clearing they put over there in that area. Whatever that area over to the 12 o'clock is, they cleared it for some reason. But it really looks like they, they don't have a lot of the work done. Okay, guys, we got to come back. That's the east pad right there. And we're going to come back through Black Coop, where we actually were at. I'm going to show you guys a beautiful sunset here. Beautiful. That's the pipeline. They're working hard at it, just so you know. They're working hard right now at the pipeline. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to come back here. We're in a fast, we're in a fast mode right now. So we did show you guys, it's connecting, it's not on. Uh, so we did show um, the pad, oh, you can, can you see it now? It's hard to see on this phone, but I guess we can do that. Yeah, we just showed the pad and we're on our way back to Black Coop. We're parked over here by the park rangers. They're right behind us, watching us, watch them. And they said, don't let digital smoke signals in. Don't let him in, he's gonna see what we're doing. That's funny. It is, right? It feels like Morton County. Okay, down to 30%. Oh, it got cut off. Look at that. It should not get cut off. We got full cell service. 
full cell service and 18 satellites. Okay, so I'm getting close. Here's how you, t you tell where you are. So this is the direction we went into the east pad. The geofence protects us, prevents us from going where we need to go. Where the drone is right now, I can point it right at us and it's gonna come straight towards us. We got 25% left for you drone pilots out there. If you lose light of sight of your drone, you can use your map to show where you're at. What I'm, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna film the cops over here as we bring the drone back to us. Kind of trying to give them, uh, kill two birds in one stone. Get footage as well. Oh yeah, he's right here. Oh, hide that. Look back up. BIA. I yeah. did not hide it. Sorry. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> okay, there's the camp right there. So. We're gonna do is we're gonna go down the BIA there. This is where we started to see video interruption. Moving up against you for stabilization. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. So they went in for compost toilets, is what they did to check on the EPA. Reality TV. This is BIA taking their break. It looks like nobody's been arrested. That's what we're talking about, guys, when the screen does it. That's so when we see that there's a, an issue with 